addition to modes, there's also something that's called monotony. All right, so designers of interfaces often present users with a choice of methods to execute the same command. All right, we have a lot of justifications for that user preferences. All right, one method may be easier in one context than another. People worry about backward compatibility with previous, with previous versions of our product. But when you have a monotonous interface, you have an interface that has only one way of accomplishing a task. A lot of apps these days tend to be more monotonous than desktops. Now, sometimes people will get monotony and mode a little confused. And you definitely want to know the difference. This, by the way, makes a great exam question, too. All right, so if you have a modeless interface, a given user gesture has one and only one result. All right, so it's a one-to-one -one correspondence between that gesture and the potential result. In a monotonous interface, you have only one means by which a command may be invoked. So if I have, for example, a gesture, control S in a program, and control, oh, sorry. and control S always saves. Is that modeless or monotonous? I have control S. Control S always saves. No matter what, control S always saves. Does that fit modeless or monotonous? Modeless. Why? Because there are other ways to save. Now, monotonous. If, on the other hand, the only way to save a file is to go to File, Save, and there is no other way of doing it, now is it modeless or monotonous? In that case, it's monotonous. Really important to know the difference. Now, an interface can be completely modeless and completely monotonous. And in that case, it has a one-to-one -one correspondence between cause, which is the command, and a effect, which is the results. Now, that can be great if you want your user to be able to form a habit, right? To develop automaticity for their forming habit. Is it always practical? It's not. But these days with apps, it's actually a little bit easier. Oops. Oh, hold on. I have one more slide. All right, so with monotony, when you, when you have to choose between methods, the decision itself becomes your locus of attention instead of your task at hand. All right, so remember, all of these are really related with cognitive load, our locus of attention, and what is it that the user is trying to accomplish. So a designer must seek an efficient, monotonized interface if you want to achieve ease of learning. Simplicity and implementation, minim minimization of documentation, and lower maintenance costs. And users may actually take their interfaces and monotonize them themselves. So if you're used to using Control S, you probably use Control S most of the time. All right, any questions? All right, I hope that you all have a fabulous, fabulous Thanksgiving. And I will see you on Tuesday. <laughs>